2024 has been awful for the adult film industry. Recently, adult film stars have been dropping like flies. Cagney Lynn Carter dead at 30. What's going on with all these poor stars dying, bro? Like, what happened to Emily Willis? He was my favorite stepsis, bro. That shit crazy. At 43 from an overdose. Thonda Fields dead at 24. At She's kind of bad. The video being recorded, Emily Willis is in critical condition from an overdose, and her family is expecting the worst. It seems like every Think week. She's a now? No, Emily Willis, bro. I loved her fucking yoga scenes, bro. I've been hearing about you know that one with the uh, she had the hole in her ass and like niggas. Let me chill, bro. About some adult film star just randomly dying. So what the fuck is going on? Or better yet, what is going on in the industry? Well, the adult I'm still hitting with consent, of course. Nigga, she's in a coma. How can you hit with consent? What are you talking about? That's not consent. She can't agree. She's in a coma film industry is probably one of the worst industries to work in ever. Now, that really shouldn't be too surprising. An industry as gross and obscure as <laughs> porn being a really weird place to work, I mean, no surprise, right? But people don't really seem to grasp just how awful this industry really is and the genuine terrible effect it has on people and on society. So let's cut the bullshit and just get right into it. So, how exactly is the industry connected to all of these deaths? Well, I think a good start is looking at one of the people that I mentioned earlier, Thina Fields. Now, months before she died, she talked about facing serious abuse in the adult industry. The fuck it did is they very do? difficult to be a woman and create adult content when society is literally in shit. At 24 years old, she It'll was found good. unalive in her home. But one of the Damn. weirdest things is that the cause of her death was not really made available. Now, when interviewed about her death, her Most friend- Most likely, she probably just, you feel me, herself. Honestly, she's probably on her 13th feet, uh, reason. Who's Deanna Fields, though? Let me do some research real quick. Hey, what y'all rate her, chat? What y'all rate her? What do y'all rate her? I think she look good. I haven't seen her work, though, so I don't know. But she look pretty good. And, and fellow adult film star Alejandra Sweet said that I can't really share too many details right now because I'm saddened by the news. Now, the production company that she was signed to, Milky Peru, Zero out of 10, you're racist. ...on their Instagram dedicated to Thina. We still can't believe this. We refuse to be without you. We would like to see you one more time. We hope someone wakes us up from this bad dream. You oh, always shut the f*** up, brother. What these companies be talking about? I wish someone would wake us up from this bad dream. Oh, my God, bro. bro just say sorry to her family move on bro y'all try to make people feel bad for you be in our hearts thank you for allowing us to be part of your life and this is the same production company that she was facing all of this abuse from at the time it's yeah, they did something bro behavior don't you think now i don't want to be a conspiracy theorist here but maybe just maybe it was an inside job Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't think it's gone that far, but it's still kind of fucking weird. Now, Thana is not the first to open up about the dark side of this industry. In fact, almost every single major adult film star that you can think of has opened up about the abuse, exploitation, and the serious consequences of it. Lana Rhodes, one of the biggest stars out there, has talked about being forced Nigga, to do scenes that she really did not want to do. Oh, I see that video. Oh, yeah, this is video. This video is wild. I'm not gonna lie. My short stint and porn, they're really extreme acts were what was popular and that's why being the number one performer in the industry at the time, everyone wanted to make money off me so they pushed me to do these things. Um, and it just gets really extreme, like you were saying, abusive. I don't want to go into too much detail, like honestly some of my experiences are really humiliating for me and I wish that they never happened. Wait, hold on, Nashville? She live in Nashville? Yo, is that for representation? <laughs> Alright, let's get locked in though. Look, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. This is my talk this is my opinion on these porn stars and shit. Look. Becoming a porn star is already degrading your whole body, your whole ah uh, ah, uh, your whole morals, all that shit. Alright? And a lot of these niggas, I'm gonna just keep it real. A lot of these niggas are just moralist. In general so for her to feel uncomfortable for, so for her to feel uncomfortable doing a scene and she's already a moralless individual is absolutely crazy but i heard i watched some of the clips i, I don't know if the, uh i don't know if the, she's gonna say it in this uh in this clip or video or whatever but apparently i'm pretty sure she was forced to like throw up in like a a, a bucket and then she was forced to like drink that shit and I'm pretty sure they didn't, they didn't even release the video. They just did that shit. Or it was some shit like that. Or maybe she was supposed to like pee or shit in the bucket. And she was supposed to drink that shit. It was some weird ass shit. But it was some European shit. It was nasty. 
So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what she's talking about. My experiences are really humiliating for me, and I wish that they never happened. Many adult film stars, both male I'm eating gay? Hey, bro, she was eating too, bro. Like, <laughs> go lie. And forced to do scenes that they really, really do not. Hey, did y'all hear that? Oh, uh, do y'all know that a lot of gay porn stars aren't even gay? They just get paid extra money to do the gay scenes. It's just weird. Want to perform? Link to the video research purposes. Yeah, buddy, you're getting. Uh. -uh. Now, not uh -uh, every buddy. job. Is nah, buddy, I ain't gonna lie. You need you need a fucking uh beating timeout, bro. What the fuck? Perfect. In almost any job that you want to be successful, who would watch you that? You would be surprised, bro. Don't want to do. Actors often you would be surprised that they don't really like that much in order to boost their career and get recognition. But if you're trying to get your foot into the adult film industry, you don't really get a say. Many scenes often require doing extremely gross and painful things in order to get the job. I'm not gonna describe any of those. Take it up but the butt. I think you can use your imagination. Now, a lot of these girls start in the industry when they're young, as young as. 18 years old as a matter of fact but oftentimes many are recruited even younger tracy lord yeah i heard about successful that successful actresses in her time was only 15 years old when she started she used what what is one of the most successful matter of fact but oftentimes many are recruited even younger tracy lord's one of the most successful actresses in her time was only 15 years old when she started she that's absolutely absurd whoever did that shit nigga they need to be in jail whoever her whoever casted her needs to be in jail 15 year old tapes is insane that's that t nickel shit that's insane cloud didn't you nut to a girl farting? We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. She used a fake birth certificate and a fake driver's license to claim that she was way older than she actually was and starred in many, many movies. In the what? 80s, she was one of the highest paid adult film actresses at the time, earning over a thousand... Why did they do background checks? That's weird. ...dollars per day. And this was all while she was only 16 years old. But when she turned 18, the authorities finally looked into the tip that she was actually underage. And they discovered that her credentials were completely fake. The owners of her video agency accepted excitement videos were arrested and any film that she starred in was now legally considered child porn in court the government prosecutors claimed that tracy Bro. was manipulated by the industry and was drugged to do certain scenes that she did not want to do however in her autobiography she claims that anyone who worked with her never once saw her take drugs and that she was fully aware of her actions but many of her co-workers and even her sister have heavily criticized the book for lying now this is the most why would she lie that's a free case in bag. They must have some crazy shit on her. For it to lie, they must have some crazy shit on her, bro. Oh my god. Known case of underage W drugs? Film, what? And probably the most controversial one. Because it's kind of hard to decide who to really put the blame on. Was it Yo, talk him out, bro. Talk that boy out. By using fake documents that looked real? Maybe the company genuinely did not know. Or should the movie company have done a better job at checking her background and making sure that she really was of age? Keep in mind, it was the 80s. The bro, CPB, hot, bro, new, CPB the highest paid is crazy. You'd be surprised, boy. Hey, CP is still very, very sought after. It's just not sought out, not sought after on the local internet, nigga. Just sought after, it's just sought after in secret. Very advanced. Same way but that Rogue died, really bro. Close to the worst of it. Because one of the worst secrets in the industry easily is the human trafficking. Now, over 4.8 million about this. people globally are sexually exploited and more than... Which is a crazy number. 4.8 million people. That's crazy. 20% of those people are children. And That's also of these crazy. And these people are used solely for the purpose of pornography. The number one site That's where nasty. all this content has been uploaded is Pornhub, the world's biggest porn site. The site that both you and me have been on before and if you genuinely have hey, all them teen videos they might they might be actually teenagers and not over 18 just see i'm just being real which by the way if you watch the teen category or pornhub you're a wicked nasty motherfucker you need to be on you need to be put on a fucking watch list you edpt nickels ass bitch the balls to say that you've never been on it you're a goddamn liar in december 2018 a 15 year old girl randomly went missing after she left her home the mom did find her daughter 10 months later but she didn't find her through the authorities she found her on pornhub where she was featured in over 50 videos bro what 
No, nah, that's wicked, bro. Don Gianni, a substitute teacher, was arrested after she posted videos of her assaulting her 14-year-old family member on the website. And the The only reason the authorities knew about it was because one of her classmates saw the video online and reported it. Rose Columbo Bro, was 14 what? years old when she was kidnapped by two men and R-worded for 12 hours straight. They up- Nigga, what? 12 hours straight? What the fuck? The biggest took honey? Uploaded the footage to the hub and several months later, students at her school were sharing the link on MySpace and tagging her. Several That's crazy. So you, you shared the link of your classmate getting R-worded instead of reporting it to the authorities? They go... Versions oh of this God. video. What is wrong with this generation? This site with one of them having over 400,000 views. Now, over the course of six months, she reached out to Pornhub and explained multiple times that she was a minor and that this was a Hey, by the way, gay, I ain't gonna lie. Beg. Your lips are chapped, bro. You gotta lock that in, bro. You can't record videos with your, these chapped ass lips. You gotta lock in. Then to take the video down but never got a response. Until finally, she created a new email posing as a lawyer and demanded they take the video down or legal action would occur. And there are many, and I mean many stories just like this. These are only a few. However, one of the most infamous situations that brought attention to this issue was one of Pornhub's partner channels, Girls Do Porn. The website's founder, what? Michael Pratt, created multiple fake modeling websites and invited women to apply okay. for oh. Michael Pratt. Why does the image on the right look like Adam Sandler? The fuck? Nigga, weird. Created multiple fake modeling websites and invited women to apply for a modeling gig. He posted ads for these on Craigslist and specifically targeted college towns and wanted women who were 18 to 21 years old. Once the women applied, he then told them that the job they actually applied for was for porn and not modeling. Because, you know, you can't really recruit porn stars through Craigslist. At least I don't think so. Now, these girls were initially offered two to six grand for 30 minutes of shooting. Now, many of the girls is six grand just to get fucked for 30 minutes shit girls predictably were hesitant to actually sign the contract and take the gig even though it was good money for what seemed like very little labor so michael tried to manipulate the women and get them to sign contracts in very shady and straight up illegal ways oh so he yeah he he he, he put them in a little porn 360 oh nah Porn 360 deal is insane. He hired reference girls, and their job was to earn the women's trust and try and deceive them into signing the contract by lying to them and withholding certain information. For every contract that these reference girls got signed, they earned 25 to 200 bucks. And Michael had these contracts written in a very, very complicated way to make them as confusing as possible. Yeah, a lot of people do that. These contracts never once mentioned the website name Girls Do Porn and never mentioned the fact that they would be up uploaded to the website even though they were to really try and push the girls to sign the contracts they would get them extremely drunk or even get them to take hard drugs sometimes oh, against bro. their will and they all it's that jack what's that diddy logic bro let any that of diddy strategy any bro of the after the girls signed they immediately got them to work instead of the initial filming for 30 minutes like they were promised shooting lasted for a whole nine hours straight and the content Nigga, what is up with these niggas' stamina? Nine hours? Niggas take a rhino pills. That the girls were filming was so violent and rough that some of them started bleeding down there. Okay, see, okay, look, 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 hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Look, I know a lot of y'all niggas are virgins. I'm gonna be real. But I've made a girl bleed before. Because I fucked her too hard. I'm gonna be real, look. This was back when I didn't really know, like, you feel me, how to fuck. So I just thought, like, thrashing a bitch was, like, the correct way to fuck. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. She was, she, yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. I made her bleed multiple times. I stopped doing that, though. I stopped doing that. I thought, I used to think that was a flex before I actually knew how to fuck. Don't ever do that, bro.
The girls were often refused breaks, and the company employees even tried to get the girls to have sex with them, even though that is not part of the business. An employee even forced one of the girls to have sex with him at gunpoint. Are and you serious? All of that, more than half of the girls only received a fraction of the money that they were promised. Bro. They made up complete BS excuses to try and hog them out of the cash, like, oh, you look too old, oh, you don't look like your picture, oh, your acting wasn't good enough. Complete bullshit. The Man, girls bro, sued the what? company of Pornhub for eighty million dollars, and this lawsuit is huge at the time. Pornhub has historically handled these situations terribly by providing close to no action for non-consensual and underage content being posted to their website. The well, I mean, it is a porn company. I don't think they would have the best morals, now, don't you? The way their website worked was similar to YouTube, where almost anyone can post to it. And while they may not have encouraged what necessarily was going on, they were profiting from it, which the parent company That's quite crazy. literally admitted to. It wasn't until the extreme rise of consciousness. Cloud made me bleed f yesterday with five rounds. Stop lying, bro. And lawsuits that they. I don't even last five rounds, bro. That only verified users can post videos to their website. Any Wait, what? No, bro. I don't fuck mid. What are we talking about? Verified videos or users were removed immediately. Their history with human trafficking is quite literally so bad that there is a whole Netflix documentary where porn stars talk about the connection from Pornhub to human trafficking. And I think a lot of that thumbnail is crazy. And I highly recommend it. It's very much worth checking out. Now, this I'm sorry, I'm not gonna watch no porn shit. I'm sorry, I just can't. This is all pretty terrible stuff. Love you, bro. But how does can't all do this that. actually tie into the deaths of the porn stars that we've been seeing? It well, hurts, you please. And you just posted two bleeding emojis. The fuck? The death of almost every actress, they usually die from one of two things drugs or taking their own life. There is a very high correlation of people who are sexually traumatized and abusing drugs and alcohol and self-harm. From a UCLA study, more than 50% of porn stars reported using marijuana, one in five reported using cocaine, and one in five reported using ecstasy or Xanax. And Bro. one third also said that they used hard drugs sometime within the last three months. And all of this is self-reported data, so those could be a lot higher stats. Many of these women are using drugs or self-harm to most likely cop with the trauma they experienced or to try and hide the shame of their career hence why we see so many overdoses and people taking their life riley reed one yeah, of those like imagine everybody being able to like see your body and like you like really can't go outside without getting recognized for like the wrong thing okay claudia stop bro why are y'all what do i just see blood why do i see blood bro stop posting blood yo stop chatting blood bro oh my god stop doing that but look Imagine, like, being a porn star, like, everybody didn't see your butthole and shit. And, like, everybody didn't see you naked. Especially being a popular porn star. I could never. I would, you feel me? I, 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 13 reasons, bro. Biggest names in the industry talked about how her career basically completely ruined her personal life. I've yo, lost. yo, Cloud, can I send you some fan art? Yeah, I'm gonna open up a P.O. box soon. It's my whole family, and it sucks. So a lot of times when people ask me if they should do porn, I tell them no. I tell them that it makes life really hard. It makes dating really hard. It makes your family life really hard. It makes intimacy hard. It, you're putting yourself out there and the world is now judging you. You have to be okay with being shamed every day of your life. I don't even- Yeah, if you, if you could assume never do porn, like no. I wouldn't even do OnlyFans. But, but at least OnlyFans is behind a paywall. So at least not everybody can see your shit for free. Pornhub, them niggas is just getting exposed for the free ski, baby. I want to have children because I do porn because I'm worried of the way that people will treat my child. With me personally, my mom was supportive in the beginning. She kind of just let me do whatever, that I think it was a good thing. I had a lot of freedom. As time progressed and I became successful, I started to feel like my mom was using me so that she could live a more luxurious lifestyle. Exactly what she was doing. These boundaries, not giving her money or things like that. It made our relationship a bit more difficult and almost. Amateurs can hide their face, yeah, but like you know, it's still poor, bro. And so it sucks. I don't have a mom anymore. I don't talk to her. I miss having a mom. I feel like you can't rewind and you can't go back. I don't have that relationship with her anymore. I don't ever think I will. And that bums me out. Bums me out a lot. I talked to my dad and he struggles with my my job being in the industry. He's also religious. Recently I wanted oh, to Oh no. Oh, I know he wants to. Oh, I know he's a shade, bro. 
you're like he's religious and she, his daughter does poured oh he be he be fighting demons every day bro cloud x ruby rose cloud x ruby rose equals 13 rounds plus blood why the fuck would you post that shit him and he said that i, I can't go visit because his wife my stepmom doesn't want me there i'm not allowed to go visit my dad anymore because my stepmom doesn't like that i do porn but then he told me that when i was like can we like go get coffee and like we go like get breakfast and he's like i don't want to be seen in public with you and that I ain't gonna lie, that's tough. I ain't gonna lie, that's tough. That's an L father right there. I understand what he's... I understand his shame, but that's L father right there. I don't care what... Bro, I don't care what my daughter and dad do. I don't care if my... I don't care if my, my, my son turned into fucking uh, EDP, bro. If, I, like, if that's my son, I'm gonna still walk out in public with him. I don't care. I'll still be seen in public with him. That's that's my responsibility, bro. Nigga, your daughter does porn. I guess she. I guess she's a degenerate. I guess she's a shame to your family, shame to your culture, all that. Shame to your religion. I get that. But bro, bro, I'm sorry, bro. You got it. Look, you got to accept what you created and put into this world, bro. Not just hurt so bad and it sucks i lost my family i don't talk to like my brothers or sisters i think that they all kind of like try to take advantage of me and stuff or they're just like my dad don't want to be around me so even with all the horrific things going on in the industry why work in it many of these women choose to work in this career most of them can also choose not to right well it's not that straightforward like i've said many of the people who pick this path are extremely young listen we don't tend to make the best decisions when we're young they see the promise of money fame and a rock star lifestyle and they immediately jump into it without a second thought many of these production companies target these young women for that specific reason and lots of other people genuinely just do it for the money, not necessarily because they want to. Like, for example, Brianna Coppage was a teacher in St. Louis, Missouri, and really loved her job, but being a teacher was not enough to pay the bills. She oh, I heard about this. She a side hustle and ended up making more than double her salary as a teacher. That's she had absolutely no intention absurd. to leave her job. That's absolutely job. absurd. See, at that point, I will leave. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. You're making a mill from OnlyFans? Yeah, gang, I ain't going to lie. It's time to put the books up, nigga. Get the pussy out. I ain't gonna hold you. Teacher, but once the school found out about her account... Can y'all stop talking about how I make y'all bleed, bro? I do not make y'all bleed, bro. Stop so, stop saying that, bro. Why do I see hashtag cloud made me bleed? Y'all trying to start a hashtag free me... Y'all started. Y'all trying to start a me too movement in my chat. I'm not touching a single one of y'all, bro. What are y'all talking about, bro? Stop doing that. She was fired, and she then focused on doing oh things full time because it was her only option. And it's a damn shame that she was only doing it to get the bills paid, not because she liked doing it. Now the industry has improved over time and has learned from history. Many cloud makes all the hoes bleed. I do not do that, bro. Stop saying that. I swear to God, stop saying that, bro. I do not make y'all bleed, bro. Stop saying that. Emote only. I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do Twitch. All right. All right. Cloud, would you attempt a backflip for 100 subs? Yes. If someone get, yo, if I got 100 subs right now, I'll, I'll do a backflip. I ain't gonna lie. Cloud be having us bloody. No, I do not. Stop saying that, bro. You finna get me arrested, bro. ...and production companies act much more ethically to their cast and crew. People who hire these actresses fully make sure that they are only doing it because they are passionate God about the damn. business and don't want them to make a mistake that they will later regret. And many popular websites have now started implementing much more control to prevent non-consensual content from being uploaded. However, the abuse and the consequences still remain. Even if it has improved, it's still an industry that has way more cons than pros.